Good evening. Uh, we got a great crowd here. I appreciate everybody coming out. We'll call this meeting to order, uh, and we will start with the superintendent's report. And our superintendent's not here. So we got Matthew Conson is subbing in. I am not the superintendent, <laughs> but he has authorized me to speak at length this evening. Um, welcome to the meeting this evening. Um, in Dr. Bragg's absence, uh, he did want me to let you know that he uh, is with Dr. Lewis, the Commissioner of Education, and Dr. Polio, uh, the Jefferson County Public Schools Superintendent, um, and other delegate members at um, a Wallace Foundation meeting. That is really important to our district and hopefully will produce some transformative work for us. So he really couldn't miss that meeting. Uh, and so I'm here in his absence. Uh, just wanted to let everybody know that a short legislative session is happening right now uh, with the target end date at the end of March. Uh, we are keeping our eye on the important bills that are coming through. You may have heard about one today, House Bill 525, that uh, seeks to change the way the Kentucky Teachers Retirement System Board is made up and um, it has impacted some school districts' uh, closings today. Uh, we do want to thank our Owensboro Education Association who has been um, out there advocating and we did send a delegation to Frankfurt today. Uh, we did hear that the vote did make it out of committee and will go to the floor vote, so we'll be keeping a, a close eye on that one. Uh, regional basketball tournament is going on now. Uh, as you know, OHS, yes, 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 won first round. We'll be in semifinal action on Friday. Uh, should win, we win Friday. <laughs> we'll play the championship game on Sunday and on the state tournament next week, so stay tuned. Uh, we are in the midst with the Sutton Site Based Council um, selecting a principal. Uh, in fact, we have a meeting right after this meeting um, to do some more progress on that. We should have a recommendation by the third week in March on that. The uh, request for proposals out right now on our digital devices. I think Dr. Brake has made you aware of that uh, as a board, but uh, we will have a recommendation for you on that at our next board meeting. That has uh, garnered lots of attention, so stay tuned on that one. Uh, preschool kindergarten registration begins March the 12th. We are moving all of our processes in those areas to the online registration system that we started last year. And we are excited about that. Um, expect a lot of media attention on that um, because we join with DCPS in trying to publicize all of that. And last but not least, the Fine Arts Festival is happening this month. One of the most exciting times here in the district where we will show, showcase all of our fine arts and performing arts and um, especially for our newest board members, you are going to be wow, thrilled, and excited. So that's all for the superintendent report. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, moving on, we'll go to board recognitions, and we'll start with the Tom Maddox Outstanding Achievement Award. Ms. McCarty. Okay. Okay, Caitlin and I get the honor of giving the Tom Maddox Award to an outstanding individual who has made significant contributions to uh, Winsboro Public Schools. And I'm honored to recognize Deanna Sanders. Come on up here. Deanna is the Food Service Program Coordinator and has been working in school nutrition since 2008. Since that time, the program has expanded from offering breakfast, lunch, and after school snacks, we now provide a summer meal program and dinner meals. Deanna has been the main person behind the expansion of the summer feeding program, which provides over 60,000 meals each summer to children at 40 different sites, <coughs> including mobile routes, which uh, started three years ago in Owensboro and Davis County. And Deanna works extremely hard and always goes above and beyond to help other staff and departments at the central office and the schools. This past year, she worked selflessly to coordinate with Frisky staff at, uh, to do the holiday, holiday hygiene helpers drive at Central Office to accept donations such as soap, shampoo, and other miscellaneous items to donate to children in the schools. She's been involved in planning activities at Central Office for the last few years, and she's always willingly accepted jobs um, with Goodfellows and um, Central Office ho holiday parties. 
I also want to say that when you look at anyone at central office, if, if Mary, the receptionist, is out, I'm like, Deanna, can you help us? And she's <laughs> always so willing to jump in and help. And, and it really means a lot to have an employee like you, Deanna. And thank you so much. <laughs> coach of the black squad cheerleaders and this is our large co-ed team um, we finished in um, as our sectional winner um, KHSA sectional winner for regions three and four um, then we went to the state competition and finished in sixth place at the um, in game day competition uh, then we went to nationals or we qualified for nationals and um, we won our division at the bluegrass regional in Lexington and both divisions, large co-ed and large co-ed game day. Um, then we went to nationals. We finished seventh in nationals in large co-ed game day and tenth in nationals in large co-ed. So, and here are the members of our squad. Uh, we have freshman Emily Bowman. Uh, we have a junior Emily Boyd. She cannot be with us today. We have another junior, Hadley Duval. We have eighth grader, Emma Embry. She is at tennis practice today. Uh, we have senior, Madison Embry. Um, we have sophomore, Hadley Fogel. We have junior, he's at basketball practice. Um, Jane Greathouse, who's not here. Um, we have junior Asia Herbert, <coughs> sophomore Bree Jackson, we have junior Bree Johnson, who's not here with us today, we have freshman Olivia Lewis, freshman Corey Mahoney, senior Bailey McAllister, Sophomore, Rihanna Pickerel. Junior, Kinsley Rusher. Sophomore, Kiana Sandifer. Junior, Emma Scherzinger. Senior, Diamond Shinwell. And senior, Alexis Williams. These are the girls, obviously. Um, here we have Troy. Right, and uh, we have senior, these are the boys, obviously. Senior Zeke Brown. Um, junior Andrew Chancellor. Junior Nick Cox. Junior Trace Grenier. Junior Monty Asley. Who also plays basketball? Just so you know, looks familiar. Um, junior Mason Perry, <coughs> freshman Connor Rhodes, and junior Paul Warren. <coughs> so this is the black. Right, so right in front of this black table, I need all the guys in the back, and I need from you. You all in the back, and then the rest of you in the front. Like, we'll get the picture formation. Just tell them. Oh, picture formation. Picture formation. Just watch. Don't do your thing. Don't do it. You don't need to do anything. You didn't give me that, too. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
All right, here we go. You ready? Um, in the back to the right, just a hair. All right, perfect. Right there. All right. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. And we get one more here. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Section 2 competition, which earned us a bid to the state competition, um, where we finished 12th. We finished second at in the large non-tumbling and third place in large non-tumbling game day, um, which earned us a bid to UCA Nationals, um, where we finished the season with a 19th place finish in the um, at UCA Nationals in large non-tumbling game day. So um, we had a really successful season and are very excited and ready to build um, for next year. We have four seniors. Um, that will be leaving us that have been amazing leaders and we're going to really miss them but um, we know we have a lot of upcoming um, talent in our freshmen, sophomores, and juniors that will take on those leadership positions. So um, I will go ahead and introduce them. First we have um, Kaylin All who is not with us. She's a junior. And then we have Jaden Boone. And Jenna Douglas. Amari Douglas. Um, Laura Duncan, who's one of our seniors, Anaya Greer, Kiara Hagen, Kiki Hall, Ellie Hayden, Chloe Hoffman, Julia Kimbrell, who's another one of our seniors, Brianna McGrath, Kalia McGrath, Addison Manier, Kamaya Morton, <coughs> Sydney Vows, another one of our seniors, Alondra Whitaker, and then our final senior, Elizabeth Williams, couldn't be here, and then our solo boy um, on the team is Amarion Jackson. champions. They competed in a tournament the weekend of February 8th in Lexington, Kentucky. There were 79 teams. These guys went 7-0 and and won the first state uh, basketball championship for Owensboro Middle School. All right, our first basketball player is he is first team All-State, Mr. Kamen Powell. <coughs> 
Next was the MVP of the state tournament, Kenyatta Carbon. Next up, Jalen Rogers. Casey Boone. Jeremiah Goodwin. Draylon Bonds. Zach Clark. Talis Taylor. First team all tournament, Ethan Pendleton. Khalil Rogers. Kanye Johnson. And our seventh grader on the team, <coughs> Glover. And second team all state, Trey Miller. Our managers were Cal Hardison and Max Kane. And our coaches were Mark Kane and Cal McGill. Hoodie to tall here. You guys are in the back. You're also in the back. Everybody else in the front. Uh, give, me, give me a manager on each side and a coach on each side. All right. That looks all right. All right. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Uh, yeah, hold There you go. Perfect. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Let me get one more here. One, <coughs> two, three. All right. Say that. Wait for your parents for a minute. <laughs> Come on up here. I'll get everywhere. I just saw Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 